Um, good evening. Good evening, sir. Good to be with you. And I heard that you know a number of you are you know under a difficult situation. That is hard for you to have strength from the Lord. That is hard for you to have strength from the Lord. That may be, you know, living in a family with problematic people. Or difficult situation. That is, that very often you might forget about Jesus. And don't get the strength from the Lord. Well, I want to first respond by saying God cares about you. God came to seek and to save the lost. God came to help the people who are needy. Mungu alikuja kusaidia wale wanao wako na mahitaji. Let me ask you, have you experienced peace or love or joy or freedom when you praise and worship? Yeah. Can you raise your hand? Can you raise your hand? Would you find help when you come to church and praise and worship, you find strength? Thank you. But then at home you might find it difficult, right? Now, then how can you have strength in all situations? Then how can you have strength in all situations? Now in the church, in the gathering, then you have strength. When you are alone and facing difficult people, then you don't have strength. Lakini wakati umebaki peke yako unaanza kukumba na yale magumu sasa nguvu zinapotea. I want to say this is very normal. Nataka kusema kwamba hili ni la kawaida. And it's not just you. Na sio wewe tu. Many people are like that too. Watu wengi pia hupitia hali hiyo. But when you learn how to have the close relationship with the Lord, then you have strength from the Lord in all situations. What I want to say is the Christian life has to be a conscious Christian life. That you keep telling yourself, God is loving me. God wants to bless me and help me. In a most difficult situation, He is with me. He wants to help me. Now this, to always remember this is very important. Now everyone please come here. Kila mtu akaangalie huku tafadhali. For instance when people coming in I'm just using this illustration. When people are coming in wakati ambapo watu wanapoingia ndani people are easily distracted. Watu wanakuwa na wasiwasi. It's the same situation at home. Hiyo ndiyo hali ambayo uko nayo hata nyumbani. When you have difficulties, Kama kuna matatizo, then people are distracted. Sasa watu wanakuwa, wana, wakona mtafaruku. And they look at the difficulties and forget about Jesus. Na sasa wanatazama ule ugumu na wanasahau kusu Christo. And that's why many people just lose the concentration in the Lord. Na hiyo ndo inafanya watu wengi ile hali ya kumaknika katika wana wanapoteza. So now I want to talk about how to always keep your eyes on Jesus. Na tuka kuzungumuza ya jinsi. Ya kuelekeza macho ya kwa Kristo kila wakati. To have strength from the Lord. Kuwa na nguvu kutoka kwa Bwana. Now it, it takes conscious effort. Ina in, itakugarimu wewe kujitolea kwa nguvu. And I'm going to teach you some methods to remember Jesus. Na nitakufunza zile mbinu mwafaka za kumkumbuka Kristo. One thing very helpful is when you Kitu kimoja ambacho kicha usaada mno when you drink or eat 
Do you pray before you eat? How many people pray before you eat? Now this is a habit we all should learn. Because it reminds you when you are drinking the water is from God. When you are eating the food is from God. And God has created delicious, delicious food. And you taste the food, it came from God. It's good for your health too. So you start to think about God in the when you eat and when you drink. That when you look at the trees and the birds, and then you say, God has created the trees and the flowers. And the birds. You know, when I walk around, I can hear the birds singing. And you say, God has created all this. Now, but most people pay attention to problematic people. That's why it's very easy to forget about God. Because problematic people will distract your mind. So we can have the habit of when you wake up, thank God for my life. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for my life. Say it together. Haya tuseme pamoja kwamba tunashukuru Mungu kwa afya zetu. God is loving me now. Mungu ananipenda hata saa hii. God wants to bless me today. Mungu anataka kunibariki leo. So the moment you get up, you think about God. Sasa wakati ambapo unapoamka unafikiria kumhusu Mungu. And we remind ourselves, God is here. Na sasa tunajikumbusha kwamba Mungu yuko hapa. God is blessing me. Kwamba Mungu ananibariki. And when you are cooking or sweeping the floor, na wakati unapopika chakula unafaki unafagia sakafu you keep reminding yourselves. God is with me. Oh, Mungu yu nami. God is blessing me. Mungu yu And when you're eating, you say, thank God for the food. Let me tell you, if you remember God all the time, and pray to Him all the time, you have strength from the Lord. The next thing you can do is to read Bible verses and remember at least a part of what you have read. Now for some people it's hard to remember the whole Bible, whole chapter. And some people it's hard to concentrate to read much. Let me ask you, can most of these people here read? Can they read? They can read, okay? Now, if you read a, if you can read a chapter, that's great. Kama unaweza soma kifungu hilo ni jambo kuu. Even if you cannot read a chapter, you read a part and then you think about it. Hata kama hawezi ukasoma kile kifungu chote, unaweza tusoma baadhi ya maneno katika kile kifungu pia ni jambo la muhimu. That's what someone says. Ikilicho ambacho Samuel alisema. You know that for a person who always meditate on the word of God day and night. Kwa yule mtu ambaye anatafakari kwa neno la Mungu usiku na mchana. He will be like a tree planted by the riverside. Ako kama mti ulio pandwa kando kando ya chemiche miza mto. And he will bear fruit. Na yeye atazama matunda. The leaves will not dry up. Matawizake hazitanyauka. And 
When you meditate on the word of God, if you have strength from the Lord, that, um, you know, in, inside my head, I remember many Bible verses. So when any difficult situation comes up, I always remember God's promises. I always tell myself, God is here. God is blessing me. God wants to use my life greatly. You know, when you read the Bible, then you have strength. But if you don't read the Bible, and then you face all the difficulties. You have an impression that it's difficult to be a Christian. Do you sometimes think it's difficult to be a Christian? Do you sometimes think that it's difficult? Because you know, the two sources of strength we have. The word of God and prayer. Say it to the, to the, together with me. I have two Two sources of strength for us. <laughs> The Bible and prayer. Biblia na maombi. Biblia na maombi. Now, even when you hear this message here in the church, hata unaposikia ujumbe hapa kanisani, when you hear a Bible verse, unaposikia misali ya Biblia, remember it. Jadi poku ikumbuka. Even if you cannot memorize it, remember what it talks about. And then think about it. For instance, I talk about the Lord is in front of me and behind me. And he's laying his hand on me. So every day you think about that. The Lord is in front of me and behind me. And he's laying his hand on me. So I'm blessed by God all the time. And when you meditate on the word of God a lot, you will have strength. And, and we really believe that God is right here, as the Bible says. In Revelation chapter 3, it talks about Jesus is knocking at your door. He who opens the door, Jesus will come in and, and sup with him. So remember this. Jesus is waiting for you. Say it with me. I have to say He's knocking at my door. He's knocking at my door. If I open the door and ask him to come in, he'll come into my heart and he will sup with me. So Jesus is waiting for me all the time. Jesus is seeking us all the time. Yesu anatutafuta kila wakati. Yesu anatutafuta kila wakati. So you remember all these Bible verses. Sasa unakumbuka hii mistari yote ya Biblia. And then you pray in the Lord. Na sasa unaomba kwa Mungu. Now you can have a, a few ways of praying. First you can have prayer of grace. Tuko unaweza kuwa na sampuli tofauti za maombi. Sampuli ya kwanza ni ile tunasema kwamba maombi 
Prayer of grace is prayer to declare that God is blessing us. And I'm going to say something and then you will interpret and then they will follow you. Tell them. Yeah. Kuna kitu nataka kuongea, alafu mimi nikiongea mnarudia nyuma yangu. Sawa? Ndio. So all this is talk about God's blessing coming to me. It's talking about God's blessing. Mambo haya yote yanahusu kusema kwamba Mungu ananibariki mimi. So every morning you can say this and every day you can say this. Kwa kila asubuhi na kila siku uweza kusema haya. Thank God you're with me. Sema asante Bwana uko na mimi. Asante Bwana Thank God you're blessing me. Asante Bwana manake unanibariki. Thank God you are loving me. Asante Bwana manake unanipenda. Asante Bwana manake unanipenda. Thank God you are helping me. Asante Bwana manake unanisaidia. Asante Bwana manake unanisaidia. Thank God you have a wonderful plan in my life. Asante Bwana kwa manake uko na mpango mzuri katika maisha yangu. God cares about me. Mungu ananijali. Mungu ananijali. I can be happy because of God. Ninaweza kuwa na furaha kwa sababu ya Mungu. Naweza kuwa na furaha kwa sababu ya Mungu. So all these talk about the grace of God. Haya yote yanazungumzia kuhusu neema ya Mungu. God wants to forgive my sins. Mungu anataka kusamehe dhambi zangu. God wants to give me eternal life. God wants to give me eternal life. Mungu anataka kunipa maisha ya milele. God wants me to enjoy Christian life. Mungu anataka niburuduke katika maisha ya Kristo. Okay, so this is a prayer of grace. Haya ni maombi ya neema. And then there is praise and worship. Na sasa kuna kuna ibada na kusifu. And so this are now praise and worship. Na sasa hapa ni ibada na kusifu. I love you Lord. Ninakupenda Mungu. Ninakupenda Mungu. I worship you Lord. Ninakuabudu Bwana. I need you Lord. Ninakuhitaji Bwana. You Lord, I depend on you, Lord. I'm happy to have you. I'm happy to have you. I need your strength. I want to be with you. So these are praise and worship. Okay, now there's another prayer. Tena kuna It's how to experience the Holy Spirit. This is very helpful. I've been trying to tell you. I want to lay hand on you so you can experience the Holy Spirit. And then when you go home to pray, you can experience His peace anytime. This is very helpful. Because you can feel His presence. You can feel His peace. Now actually when you say the prayer of grace and the praise and worship you could feel the presence of God already. Yeah, I'm going to ask two persons to come up. Now you, you say that you need help. Na unasema kwamba unahitaji usaidizi. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help you. Anataka kujaribu kukusaidia. How can you have strength in at home? Unaweza kuwaje na nguvu hata kule nyumbani. When you pray at home and you can feel the presence of God. Ni kwamba unapoomba kule nyumbani unahisi uwepo wa Mungu. It will help you greatly. Itakusaidia zaidi. Please look here. Look here. 
Hebu tutazame hapa kila mtu tutazame huko. When you can feel his presence, unapohisi uwepo wake, you can have strength any time. Uweza kuwa na nguvu kila wakati. When you are swimming the floor, hata kama unafagia sakafu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's very helpful. Okay. And there is a one man and one woman come out. To encourage you. Now, if you need help, you have to hunger for help. If you need help, you have to hunger for help. For instance, if you say, I'm hungry. Kwa mfano unasema kwamba niko na ncha and I say I'll give you some bread na nakwambia kwamba nitakupea mkati will you reach out your hand to it to the bread je utanyosha mkono wangu uanze kujambua ule mkate and now you say I want a closer relationship with God na sasa unasema unataka uhusiano wa karibu na Mungu and I'm telling you you need to experience the holy spirit na nakwambia kwamba unafaa uhisi roho mtakatifu And then any time you pray, na wakati wote unapoomba, you can feel his presence. Unaweza hisi uwepo wake. It's very helpful. Ni la muhimu mno. Can you understand this the importance of experiencing him? Hebu ukaelewe umuhimu wa kuhisi roho uwepo wa Mungu. That every time when you pray, you will feel burdens go away. Ya kwamba kila dakika utakapokuwa ukiomba, utasikia machukizo yanayokuondokea. Okay. Any two persons And do you hunger for God? Think of Jesus. Close your eyes. And say, Jesus, I need you. I want you, Jesus. Jesus. Now, please stand up too. You all stand up. Come. Now, stay simple prayer like me. Say it. Say it. Don't go so fast. Come, Lord Jesus. Say it after him. Say it after him. All the people. All the people. Everyone say it. You say it too. Everyone say it. 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 Say it. You, you say it and everyone say it. But they don't I'm not saying it. Can, can you tell them to say it? Yeah, wait till you say the prayer. Okay. Yeah. Come Lord Jesus. Come Lord Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. You are loving me. You want to bless me. What Now relax your whole body. Relax the whole body. Na sasa ukatulize mwili wangu wote. Jesus is blessing me. Yesu unanibariki. Yesu unanibariki. Jesus forgive my sins. Yesu nisamehe dhambi zangu. Yesu nisamehe dhambi zangu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. I love you Jesus. Na kupenda Yesu.
Yesu Yesu unaipenda. Yesu unaipenda. Many said again. Yesu unanipenda. Yesu unanipenda. 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 Yesu unanipenda. Yesu unanipenda. To some of you feel peace je kuna mtu ambaye anahisi amani or comfort ama anaisikia kutulizwa or quietness anasikia kunyamazishwa or burdens go away anasikia matukizo yameondolewa you raise your hand unaweza ikuwa mkono wako come on feel peaceful if you feel comfort please raise your hand kama unasikia kwamba uko na amani unasikia katika tulipokuwa tukiiba ule wimbo unasikia kwamba moyo wako umekuwa mwepesi na bado umekuwa na uzito unaweza inua mkono wako Okay do you feel anything do you feel peace See your body is swaying have you noticed that your body is swaying the power of God Your body is swaying the power of God have you noticed that Please understand it Huh we understand what you're saying Okay. I have peace. You have peace, okay? How about you? What does she say? She says she also feels peace. Okay? How about you? Okay, so I asked that all three of them experience peace. Then you reach your head. How many other people also experience peace? Kuna watu wengine ambao wanasikia wako na amani. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Do not be afraid. Look around. So this is the point. When you experience the presence of God, you say this. Jesus is blessing me. Unasema kwamba Yesu anabariki. Say it. Yesu is with me. Yesu kuna mimi. Yesu kuna mimi. Yesu is helping me. Yesu anisaidia. Yesu anisaidia. And you tell yourself I'm loved by God. Na unajiambia kwamba nimependwa na Mungu. So I'm telling you when you experience God, keep telling yourself God is blessing me. Na kwambia kwamba unapoishi Mungu, hebu ujizungumzie ujiambie kwamba Mungu anibariki. Now everyone keep praying. Everyone keep praying. Everyone keep praying. Tell them. Kila mtu sasa unaweza endelea kujiombea sasa.
family doesn't follow Jesus, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. When she came to be married in this place, uh -huh. she came to join a family that doesn't understand who God is. But I was ready. I was realizing as, as soon as praise and worship came when I was at my home. Alipo kuwa angali kule kwao, alikuwa ana katika kikundi cha kusifu na kuwa budu mungu. She was in a church and she was a serious member of praise and worship team when she was still at her father's house. But when she came to this particular place, she came to a family that doesn't acknowledge who God is. Doesn't acknowledge a family that doesn't understand who God is. Okay. So that thing has been tied to her. Okay. When the conference began, she was denied a chance to come and to be in this conference. So when she has been talking to the husband tonight, and the husband, she says it's like just a miracle has happened that the husband allowed her to come in the conference tonight. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. I'm going to talk about... In a moment, I'm going to talk about how to handle non-Christian families. Okay. But right now, I want to ask you, in the prayer, did you experience anything? Yes. Uh, can you describe it? What you experienced? Praise God. Amen. When she was praying, she is saying that when she is praying, she is feeling that it's only God who can make her house to change and to come into a relation with God. She has been feeling that pressure of the Lord. Okay. Now, can you describe what you experience inside you? Like your heart, your body? Do you feel peace and comfort? Uh, peace in your heart, or burdens go away, or comfort? Do you experience any of this? Yes. Uh, can you describe it? Describe what you experience? 
Anasema kwamba amehisi kwamba amesikia kutulizwa. Pay attention to what you're experiencing. Comfort her heart. Be with her. Give her strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, have you experienced anything during the prayer just now? Do you feel something? The peace or the power that come to you? I, I'm just helping you to understand you can experience God's presence. When you remember that, when you go home, every time when you pray, you feel the comfort or the peace, and then you say, God is with me. I don't have to be affected by people. I can have peace and strength. God is blessing me. Okay. Come, come. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Relax. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have you experienced something during the prayer? She's feeling that her body is light compared to when she was at her home. Does she feel lighter, right? Yeah. So the burden's coming out. Now, now you have some tears. What did you experience? <laughs> She's been feeling a lot of pain, but right now she's now relieved. Okay, so remember this, that God can bring relief. And, and I hope you all remember this. In the difficult times, you can always come to God. And you say, Jesus is blessing me. Jesus wants to help me. And then you keep loving God. His peace will come. And you thank God is living. He's blessing you. Oh. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, 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 Can you just 
describe what you experience? Can you describe what you experience? Sunday. 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 Can you describe what you experience? She's feeling that um, like um, she's he is being filled with a certain power and that power is bringing a lot of air in the chest and that air is pushing him to continue crying loudly. Mm -hmm. okay. So he's experiencing the presence of God coming to change him. So what I want to tell you is the Holy Spirit will help you. He will help you to have strength. So we all need the Holy Spirit. We all need the power from God. And how can we have this power from God? First, you want to meditate on the Word of God. Remember all the promises of God. God is in front of me and behind me. God is laying his hand upon me. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. As a mother would not forget her baby, as a mother would not forget her baby, God will not forget, forget me. God is with me all the time. That the, the big mountains can be removed. The hill can be removed. But the love of God cannot be removed. So you remember all these promises. That will give you strength from the Bible. And then this prayer of grace. Just now we said, God is blessing me. God is loving me. God is helping me. And then the praise and worship. I love the Lord. Now praise and worship is from me to God. I worship God. I love God. I need God. Now let me let us do an exercise. I will say a prayer sentence. And then you will say in your language whether it's prayer of grace or praise and worship. Okay, now we try. God is blessing me. They say grace. Yeah, that's correct. Very good. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. So it's from me. So what is that? They say it's worship. Yeah, right. Okay. So you need both kinds of prayer. Now try again. God remembers me. Mungu ananikumbuka. Ana wewe unasema ni ombi la ibada ama ni ombi la neema? Mungu ananikumbuka the saints grace, okay? I love the Lord. Ninampenda Mungu. They say worship. Okay. Now you know the difference, right? So you do this every day. When you wake up, you say, God is with me. God is blessing me. I'm important in the sight of God. God will not forget me. God wants to bless me. 
stairway will give you strength. Na sasa hivyo Mungu atakupa nguvu. And then you praise the Lord. Na sasa unaanza kumsifu. I love you Lord. Ninakupenda Mungu. And then when you're doing you feel the peace of God. Unapofanya hivyo unahisi amani ya Mungu. You say God is with me. Unasema kwamba Mungu ako pamoja nasi. God is blessing me. Mungu anaribariki. God is helping me. Mungu anisaidia. So you need all this to help you. Unahitaji haya yote kukusaidia. And also when you're eating or drinking, you remember it's from God. Na hata unapokula na kukunywa unakumbuka inatoka kwa Mungu. So this will help you to be connected to God. Sasa hii itakusaidia uwe umeunganika pamoja na Mungu. Now, another problem you just talk about the family members are not Christian or they are not they are Christians but they don't follow God. Jambo lingine ambalo nataka kulizungumzia ni katika familia kwamba kuna watu wanamjua ni watu ni wa Kristo lakini hawamfuati Mungu. Now in that situation we have to discern that they are not Christians. Katika hiyo hali ni lazima tuwe na ule roho wa kutusaidia kujua kwamba sio wa Kristo. So what they say will not encourage my Christian life. Ya kwamba kile ambacho watakizungumzia kitanitia moto katika kitanitia moyo katika maisha ya Kristo. They belong to darkness. Kama hakinitii moyo katika maisha ya Ukristo basi hao ni wanastahili wawe wa kwenye giza. So the words their words came from the sinful nature. Kwa hivyo mambo yao ya kunichokoza yanakuja kwa sababu yanatoka kwenye hali yao ya kiasili ya dhambi. Let me ask you who is greater, God or people? Wacha nikuulize, ni nani mkubwa kati ya Mungu na wanadamu? God. God. So even when they mistreat me, kwa hivyo hata kama wanadamu watakuchokoza, I don't have to take what they say. Mimi sitayachukulia usije yale wanaoyanena. Yesterday I talked about this. Jana nilizungumzia kwa uso haya. Don't eat garbage. Usikule takataka because when people non-Christians when they talk, manake kama ni watu sio wa Kristo wanapoongea, when they talk negatively, wanapoongea kinyume, is from the sinful nature. Inatoka katika hali yao ya kiasili ya dhambi. They want to eat garbage. Ndio wanataka kula takataka. You don't want to eat garbage, right? Do you want to eat the dirt on the on the ground? Do you want to eat the grass? Wenye ulio binyas. So the negative words don't eat. Mambo ya kinyume usiyakule. When you turn around you say this is this words are from Satan. Wakati unaposikia mambo haya wewe geuka na useme kwamba mambo haya yanatoka kwa shetani. I want to have compassion on them. Nataka nikuwe na upendo nao and understand that they are they are not with Jesus. Na kuelewa kwamba hawako na Yesu as and then I can forgive them. Na sasa naweza nikawasamehe unapoamsha jirani yako and bless them na uwabariki but I don't have to be affected by them. Lakini sitaki kuathiriwa na mambo haya amsha rafiki yako. In your heart you keep saying God loves me. Katika moyo wako unamwambia Mungu Mungu unaye. Mungu ako na mimi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now this are a few keys that I just told you. Hizi ni funguo tu chache ambazo nilikwambia. If you remember and do this every day. Kama utakumbuka na ufanye haya kila siku. You will not lose strength. Hautapoteza nguvu. I'm going to repeat this briefly. Nataka kurudia haya kwa ufupi. And then I I want to pray for you so that you can experience his presence. Sasa nataka nikuombe ili kwamba ukapate kushuhudia uwepo wa Mungu. And then you remember how it feels when the Holy Spirit comes to you. Na sasa utakumbuka jinsi utakavyokuwa umehisi wakati Roho Mtakatifu amekushukia. And then when you are at home, na sasa ukiwa nyumbani, you keep loving the Lord. Unaendelea kumpenda Mungu. You concentrate your heart to love the Lord. Unatafakari kuhusu mambo ya Mungu. And when you're brushing your teeth, na hata unaposugua meno yako, you love the Lord. Wewe unampenda Mungu. You have to build a bridge between you and God. Ni lazima ujenge daraja katikati yako na Mungu. You have to go to God all the time. Ni lazima uwe unaenda kwa Mungu kila wakati. The church can help you. Kanisa linaweza likakusaidia. But when you go home yourself, lakini unapoenda nyumbani kivyako, you have to depend on God. Ni lazima umtegemee Mungu. 
The people in the church cannot come to you. Watu wa kanisani hawezi wakujia kila siku. So you have to build a relationship with God. Nilazima ukajenge uhusiano wako na Mungu. That's why I keep saying I want to pray for you. Hii ndio sababu niliona nasema nataka kuomba na wewe. To experience the peace of God. Ili ukashuhudie amani ya Bwana. So that every time you pray. Ili kwamba kila siku unapoomba you can experience him again. Waweza tena kumuhisi tena. Okay, let's go through this again and you will say this together. A few ways that will help us in difficult situations. First, meditate on the Bible. Ya kwanza useme kutafakari kwenye neno la Mungu. Tuseme kutafakari kwenye neno la Mungu. Okay. And then number two, prayer of grace. Ya pili sema maombi ya neema. Maombi ya neema. Declaring the grace of God. Kutangaza neema ya Mungu. Tangaza neema ya Mungu. Number 3. Ya tatu. Praise and worship. Ibada na sifa. Ibada na sifa. And then number 4, experience the Holy Spirit. Na ya nne, kushuhudia Roho Mtakatifu. Kushuhudia Roho Mtakatifu. And number 5. Na ya tano. Do not be affected by the negative words of people. Usiadirike na maneno kinyume ya watu. Usiadirike na maneno kinyume. My life is precious. Maisha yangu ni muhimu. God is loving me. Mungu ananipenda. I don't have to be affected by people. Siwezi nikaadirika nikaadirika na watu wengine. Okay, go through these five points again. Aya turudie tena hizi vipengele tano tena. Number one, ya kwanza, meditate on the word of God. Tafakari kwenye neno la Mungu. Tafakari kwenye neno la Mungu. The prayer of grace, maombi ya neema. Maombi ya neema. Praise and worship, sifa na ibada. Sifa na ibada. Experience the Holy Spirit, kushuhudia Roho Mtakatifu. Kushuhudia Roho Mtakatifu. Do not be affected by negative words of people. Usiadirike na maneno ambayo watu wanasema kinyume na wewe. So we have to discern the negative words of people. When it's garbage, don't eat it. Yesterday I talked about if someone pours dung or feces at you. Do you say I want it? I want it. I want it. And then when you go home, what do you want to do? You want to wash yourself, right? But many people just go home and keep smelling. Lakini watu wengi wanaenda nyumbani wanaendelea kujinusia. The person is terrible. Hai, yule jamani mbaya alipaka mafi. He said that to me. Ya mbashi na mafi. And keep thinking about it day after day. Sasa unaendelea kuyawaza hayo mambo kila siku kila dakika. Then you will be unhappy. Sasa unakuwa hauna furaha. But if you say these are negative words, lakini unaposema kama haya ni maneno kinyume I'm not going to think about it. Mimi sita ya zungumzi sita ya sita ya fikiria kuhusu. The negative words of people, mambo ya kinyume ya watu, just stay in air for one split second. Huwa inakaa tu kwenye hewa kwa muda kidogo. I don't have to catch it. Sitaki tena niashike. I want to forget about it. Nataka kuyasahau kabisa. Is that true? Hiyo ni ukweli? Hallelujah. So I hope you continue to do this. Natumai kwamba utaendelea kufanya haya. And then you have strength all the time. Na sasa utakuwa na nguvu kila wakati. As I said before, I want to pray for you so you can experience the Holy Spirit. Jinsi niliyosema nataka tuoni waombe ili mkapate kuhusu Roho Mtakatifu. So every time you pray you can experience the Holy Spirit. Kila wakati unapoomba unaweza hisi Roho Mtakatifu. Are you willing to experience the Holy Spirit? Je, mnataka ku Shukuria Roho Mtakatifu? Yeah. Okay. Now can you do you mind to come out and then I start to pray for you. We start to pray for you. Kama sasa uko tayari, hebu njoo tuanze kuomba na wewe pamoja. The pastors here will start to pray for you. 
Because there are so many people, I ask all the pastors together to pray for the people here. And you pay attention to what you experience. And then when you go home, you can ex you can pray and then experience the Holy Spirit again. Okay, how many of you? Want to experience the Holy Spirit? Please raise your hand. Now, are there? Do you have some fear? I mean, I I let you know why you know that you want help, but then you say no. I. Some of you are afraid, or what? Whatever reason, can you tell tell us? Je, nataka niwaulize ni uoga unawafanya manaka akiwaangalia unapouliza hilo swali doctor tu hapo kule mbuya na kwenye usaidwa umuna chinga ngumu kono na ile mbona hizo saidwa na ile bare banga no bribu ba banga no mba mbere mburi no mishimsha banuma Now I hope you overcome this fear. Do you want to have strength? Yeah. Then you need the Holy Spirit. You know the one time that evangelist laid hands on me in 1997. It changed my life totally. Without that experience. I will not be like this today. Actually, if not for that, I might be retiring already. So do you want to experience the Holy Spirit? If you want to, please raise your hand. Lord Jesus, help me. Help me, help me. Lord, I say, 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 Lord, I say,